Okay, we are live. Let me Let's see. I think we may have one or two people on. If you can hear me, I just got on. I had to download some soft new software on my computer, so that's why I'm a little late getting back on. If you can hear me, can you please give me a thumbs up or a heart in the chat? Just want to make sure that I'm being heard. Let's see, I got my volume. Let me turn my volume up. Tell me if you can hear me. I hope that you can. I don't wanna do a whole new, we'll do a live and you guys can hear me. So if you can hear me, please, let me know. And then I think I'm going to wait about 10 minutes and then we'll go ahead and get started. Just, just allow uh, a few people to get on. But what I've decided to do is I will leave this live up so the people that didn't get on today can get on at a future time and date. So... Yeah, but I am all up and running. I just need to make sure that you guys can hear me. If you can hear me, please give me a thumbs up or uh, let me know in the chat that you can hear me. I greatly appreciate it. Let me know if you can hear me loud and clear, not just hear me. But I got on today. I so miss you guys. Oh my gosh, I haven't done a live in forever. I miss you guys. Uh, it's been a while since I've done a live, and I thought I would get on. Okay, you can hear me. Awesome. Thank you so much for letting me know that you can hear me. I haven't done a live in a while, so I thought I'd get on, say hello to my community. Again, I'm going to give it at least about 10 minutes to give people time enough to get on so we can chat. I wanted to talk a little bit about relationships and uh, long distance relationships. I did have someone ask me uh, if I could talk about that. I do have a video coming up in a couple of, no, the next week. Next week is going to be a video on a little bit, while well, because you know I'm doing my vlogs now, a little bit um, talking about long distance relationships, but I wanted to touch a little bit on it tonight as well. Yeah. Well, I guess I wouldn't say tonight, this evening. It's three o'clock <laughs> where I am. I don't know what time it is where you guys are, but we're going to give it about five more minutes and then we'll get started. I appreciate you guys coming in on your Sunday and watching me again. I will keep this live uh, up and running so whoever don't get to see it now, you'll get to see it in the future. So, yeah. So while you're on with me, go ahead, get you some coffee, get you some tea, get you the beverage of your choice. Today, I am drinking a German beer. I, uh, I was at Total Wines the other day and a guy talked me into these. He told me it was like a like a buttery banana type of beer. And so I purchased them. I don't, I can't really tell you it, it tastes like banana or any of that. And it's okay. It's not like real beery. So that's why I'm drinking it because I don't like the beers that taste like real beer. So get you a beverage of your choice and let's, and if you have any questions for me, or if you want me to go over something, uh, a topic about relationships, please leave it in the comments. I will try to, uh, I'm still learning this on my laptop. I mean, on my computer, I'm on my computer today. Sometimes when I come to you guys, I'm on my phone. It kind of just depends on which one want to work. I remember the last time I tried to 
get on on my uh, computer and it wouldn't let me. So I end up having to get on my phone. But today, all I had to do, it said to download. I tried to download another software that would allow me to stream this on different social medias like FaceTime, Instagram, all those at the same time. However, I'm not on all of those at the current moment, but I do plan to um, get those again. I did, you know, get off of Facebook, Instagram. I needed a break, but I do plan to get back on. I don't know if I can go get my old account. I may have to start all over. But tomorrow, I do plan to get back on Facebook, get back on Twitter, get back on all of those social medias that I was on, basically so that I can grow this channel again. So that is a part of the reason why I'm here today is because I'm trying to grow the channel again. Uh, the channel was doing really, really well a couple of months ago. Uh, right before January. The channel was doing awesome. The numbers were going up. The subscribers were going up. Everything. It was doing really, really good. I had got up to 2,000. I mean, I'm sorry, 12,400 or like 12,500 subscribers. And my subscriber count have gone down instead of going up. So I said, you know what? We need to do a live. We need to get back out there on uh, and talk to the community, let you guys know where the channel is kind of going from now on. I did change a little bit of things. So I'm going to do a little bit of that before we get into our relationship talk. Um, just want to tell you a little bit, do a little bit of housekeeping, tell you kind of how and how the channel is going to be going from now on. I basically, I now just do vlogs. And I'm going to tell you guys why. Because for me, vlogs seem to be, I can pick up the camera anytime, anywhere, any time of the day, whenever I'm feeling like it, or whenever I can, I can get on and start documenting my life or just talking to you guys. But if I do a video, I have to think of a topic. I have to turn on the lights, camera action. It's a whole production when you're doing a video, when you're doing videos. And you have to think of all these different topics, you know, to keep the audience interested, keep them, um, you know, engaged. And so I was like, you know what? I can't do that anymore because when you work full time, when you do a lot of things and I keep my grandbaby, I just have a lot going on and my energy is not where it used to be. So I said, you know what? I don't know if I can do this blogging, but now that I've been doing it, I absolutely love it because as soon as I get in a car, I'm running the errand, I'm at the grocery store, I'm doing this, I'm going out to eat, going to help a friend, going to do that. I just turned on the camera and I said, you know what? We'll document this. So I have been enjoying the lives, I mean, the um, vlogs. So if you guys have been enjoying the vlogs too, please let me know. Please give me a thumbs up. Please put a heart um, in the chat. And also while we're on this live today, please talk to me, please communicate. Um, I want you guys to, if there's a topic, is there something you want to talk about with about relationships other than long distance, please uh Put a comment in the chat and I will, like I always do, the best of my knowledge, I'll try to talk about uh, the topic, you know, of relationship, anything you guys want to talk about. So I did want to get that out of the way to let you know that's kind of where the channel, I'm not saying I'm always going to do vlogs forever and never do another video. I'm not saying that, but in my vlogs, I always try to do, I call it a car chat. So what I do is I, I'll stop somewhere and I'll start chatting about something. So if there's something you guys want me to talk about, I kind of try to mix that into the whole vlog. And that's what I did on long distance relationships because my, my good sis always want to talk about that subject. And so I did that in a video coming up next week. But then I do another spin and I tell you about when I did a long distance relationship. So it's kind of a two part type thing coming up next week. So stay tuned to that. I really do appreciate you guys watching my lives. Um, 
I do want them to do better. They are running at weekly, probably about 50, an average of 50 uh, views a week. And guys, how my channel blew up months ago was all because of you guys. You are sharing, you are liking, you were um, commenting. All of that tells YouTube, I like this video. I like what she's saying. I want someone else to know about this. So yeah, what you have to do is you have to like the videos. You have to share the videos. You know, you have to comment. All of that kind of just tells you to, you know what, I like what she's saying. And so in what happens is YouTube will then start pushing the videos out to other people because that is actually what happened when I used to talk about older women dating younger men. And that all, that whole thing started with me just telling an experience about a younger guy liking me. I got on here and I talked about it one day. I had no idea that I would get 700K in views. I had no idea that that video would go viral like it did. But I honestly did not want my channel only to be about that. I wanted my channel. I mean, I used to do well. I still do. I do sometime. I'll talk about bags that I purchased, you know, just different things, relationship advice, different topics. I kind of just like to talk about a little bit of everything. I didn't want to put myself in a box of only talking about older women dating younger men because that's not what my channel was actually supposed to be about. But that's kind of what blew the channel up. But <laughs> So now the channel has been going down in numbers. And I just want to encourage you guys, if you like what I'm talking about, if you like where the channel is going, make sure to share this video with your other girlfriends, with your guy friends, with whoever you want to share the channel with so the channel can continue growing. Because as we all know in any business, that's what YouTube likes. It likes to see people subscribing. It likes to see people sharing. It likes to see people liking. It wants to see people commenting, all of those type of things. So before we get into our topics on relationships and everything, make sure that you share this channel before we get started. But I wanted to talk about that as well, kind of where the channel is kind of going um, in 2024. Mostly vlogs, but I will switch a little conversation in them vlogs, which again is called car chats. And then another thing I wanted to talk about, which will be, I don't think I talked about it in this video that I have up. It'll be in the next one, I think. I have started asking you guys to support me. And in supporting me, supporting the channel, I have my cash app up. I'm always out and about. And where I got this concept was from a guy that I watch called Sky Money. Sky Money always, when he does his little videos, he normally does his videos at like coffee shops. And he'll say, would you like to buy me a coffee? Would you like to buy, you know, so I thought that is something really nice. There is no uh, pressure whatsoever. I just thought that I would share that with you guys only because I know that before when I was really doing my lives, I was... And basically, I didn't accept it because I wasn't really sure at that time if I was going to really stay on YouTube or I wasn't really sure where I was going to go with YouTube. But I feel like now I'm here to stay. I'm not going nowhere. I'm doing my vlogs. I enjoy it because I can turn my vlog on. I don't have to have no makeup on. I can be in the car, run to the grocery store. It's so easy and it's so simple when I thought it was going to be very hard. It's not. The only hard thing about the videos is editing and uploading. But making the videos are really simple. So again, if you want to, you're more than welcome. If you don't want to, that's fine too. All righty, guys, let's go ahead and get started. If you have any questions for me, any relationship questions, please leave them in the comment. I can see uh, my comments here. And if I figure out how to do it, I will also uh, pin your comment um, if I think necessary to pin the comment. So let's go ahead and let's get started. Let's talk about relationships. I think this is something that we all want. We can say in the back of our mind, I don't want a body. I'm, mm -mm, I don't want a man. Or a man may say, mm, I don't want a woman. But we do. 
we really honestly do. Now, we may not want to be married or we may not want to be really committed in a relationship, but each and every one of us really do desire. And I believe that is because that is the will of God. He said, you know, that man is not good alone. So we are really not good alone. The only thing in it is we have to find somebody that is right for us. You just don't want to pick any old man or a man don't want to pick any old woman just to have a relationship. So that's the thing is finding someone that you are compatible with that works with you. If you guys know on my last video, I talked about um, a guy that I had met and went on a date with, met, uh, ran into him a second time at the post office and he wanted a second date. And I was like, it did not work out. Oh yeah. If you watch that video, I'm not going to really talk a lot about it because I want you to watch the video. But yeah, it did not work out. But it's like a desire that we have. We want relationship. But today in my life, I don't want a relationship enough for something to stress me out. If you're coming into my life to stress me out, if I'm on the phone with you and you're stressing me out, my blood pressure going up, I don't want it. That's not what I want. I want somebody to come in my life and make it easy for me. I want somebody to come and take some of the pressure off of me. As a woman, you know, the things that if you have a man in your life, you have a husband in your life, he comes in and he takes some of that pressure off of you. And not only do he take some pressure off of you, you take some pressure off of him because there's certain things that each one of us do in the relationship to help each other. So that is kind of what I want is I want somebody to come bring peace. I do not want anyone in my life that's going to stress me out. I don't want somebody I got to be arguing with every single day. I don't want somebody I got to worry to worry about. Is he cheating? I don't want somebody um, to be coming to just bring a lot of chaos because you do sometimes. I remember when I was really doing a lot of um, what do you call it? I will call it serial dating. When I was doing a lot of serial dating, I would run into men that would say, oh, you know, I just don't want a woman that bring drama and I don't want a woman. Men say that a lot, but I have been running into a lot of drama men, men that have drama themselves. So the thing of it is, if you don't want any drama, don't bring drama to other people's life. Because some people can say, oh, I don't want no drama. But then you don't bring drama to the other person's life. You know, it's, it's vice versa. I don't want you to bring me drama, neither do I. Should I bring you drama? Let me see what you guys are saying. If there's any, let's see. Yes, it is finding that perfect fit. And sometimes that can be so hard. If it was easy, oh my gosh, I wouldn't even be making this video. If dating Finding a good relationship, if all of that was so easy, but I'm going to tell you, it used to be easier. I wouldn't say it used to be easy, but it used to be easier because I remember when I was in my 20s, I was in my 30s, finding a getting into a relationship or finding a decent man was not hard. And there's something else I want to say, because I know this video will reach all ages from 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70. Heck, if you want to have a relationship at 80, hey, do your thing. So it'll reach all ages. What I want to say to my younger women is get yourself together emotionally, physically, financially, spiritually, and sis or sir, find you somebody now. Because as we get older, oh my gosh, does it get very hard? Does the whole relationship dating pool kind of turn into a, I don't know what in the world is out here. So, and the reason why I say when you're younger, if you can get your life together, Get yourself together, find you somebody now and grow with that person, marry that person, stay with that person, regardless, unless it's something real crazy that the person is doing. Um, 
I would say do it when you're young because it gets, I'm telling you, when I was younger, it would, I mean, it's not hard for me to find nobody now. I could have a man now. I just refuse to have drama. And I refuse to have somebody that's not coming in to help me. Somebody that's not coming to take a load off of me and I help and take a load off of him. But it gets so hard the older you get. It really, truly is. And that is actually for men and women. I know us women want to think, oh my gosh, we cannot find a man. Men are saying the same things. Before I decided to do this live, I went and looked on YouTube. I went and looked on different platforms to see what were topics that we're actually, you know, struggling with in relationships. What is it? And at our age, at 40, 50, 60 years old, a lot of people are talking about the dating pool being a mess. There being no one to really date, being no one to find to love, to, to find to get in a relationship with. So that's why I wanted to start out talking to my younger women and men that if you can find somebody, if you find somebody that is a decent person to love. Now, don't go running off into any old relationship just to have anybody because that's not what it is because that's a that's a whole life of misery. You don't want it, anybody, any kind of relationship. You want somebody that you can grow with. You can grow old. I remember when I was younger and I was a kid, I was a teenager, all my aunts, all my family I seen were married. There were not a lot of, actually every single one of my aunts were married. And, and if I think I may have had a couple that end up either their husband passed away or they got a divorce or whatever, but the majority, and I had nine, my grandma had nine kids and every last one of them was married. So I grew up seeing that. I didn't grow up, you know, with all that, you know, the, you know, all my aunts, all my uncles don't have, you know, wives and husbands. They all had that. So I knew I wanted that. But when you are trying to find it for yourself and it's like now it's even harder. It is so hard to find somebody to love. This is crazy. I don't understand it. But on every platform, on everything, everybody's saying they want a relationship. And that's what I said on one of my, um, I think one of my deals on YouTube. I said, everybody want a relationship, but ain't nobody together. I don't understand it. How are we all looking for somebody, but can't nobody find nobody? What's, what's the deal with that? What is the deal? How can we, can I find anybody? Okay, so now we're all going on different avenues to find us somebody from plenty of fish to all kinds of dating apps, date now, date, you know, and then they even have apps where if you're younger, you want to find somebody older. If you're older, if you want to find somebody younger, if you're, you're, let's say you're gay and you want to find somebody that way, we they got all kind of apps but people are all single. I just don't understand it. And for me now, I am not currently on any kind of dating apps. And there's a couple of reasons why I'm not. And I, one of them, I won't share why, but I'm just not on them because I was on them for a while, right before COVID, probably three years before COVID. And I, guys, I used to go on some serial dating. I did. I had a date every single weekend. And right before COVID, you know, nobody was going out. Nobody was doing anything. So I took some time to where we weren't going out because then nobody know. We know if each other had COVID. So it's like, mm -mm, I won't go out with him because I don't know if he got COVID. So I kind of stopped going on dates. And at that time, I started thinking, Leslie, what in the world are you doing? Why are you on a date every single weekend? And what? And, I was going on dates every single weekend, and then I realized I really wasn't finding anybody. I'm like, all oh, these men are trash. What is? I mean, and I was serial dating. I had a date Friday night. I had a date Saturday night. I turned around the next week. I had another date, 
And there would always be something or something about him that I would say, this, this, this joker, what in the world is going on? I just don't understand. So if you watch my video last week, I mean, this week, I talk about that. So when I ran into that guy the second time, I was trying to think, what did he do? The reason why I didn't talk to him, because I'm like, it's something. And when I seen him in the post office, I was kind of trying to think, OK, what did he do? And, and I had to think about it. And as the week went on, I remember what this joker I had gone on a date with him. We'd gone to this nice restaurant and, you know, he always talk about he wants to take a woman to a five star restaurant. He wants to. He was a big bragger. And it was such a turnoff because I'm going to tell y'all in a video I got coming up. I talk about that where I don't like cheap men. Well, this guy, he wasn't cheap, but he was such a bragger to it was a turnoff. Because him and I had talked and we had shared, which I say in that video, we had shared what each other kids did. His kids were young. That it was two reasons why I oh, no, it's it was two reasons why I didn't go on a second date with him and I decided not to talk to him. The number one is he talked and bragged too much. He said, Oh, uh, yeah, I just finished law school and, you know, I'm going to be an attorney and I'm a, I got a PhD. And I mean, the whole when you go on a date with a woman, you should be getting to know her. I'm happy to know you just finished law school. I'm happy to know you got your PhD. I'm proud of you, black man, brother. I am proud of you. But I want to know beyond that, because that's not telling me about you. That's not telling me about your character. All that's telling me is that you did very good as far as academics, as far as studying, because it takes a special kind of person to do stuff like that. I know because that was my daughter. It to be to become a lawyer, to do all of that stuff, to become a doctor, to become any of those type of things, it takes some dedication, hard work, studying. It takes a lot. But when I'm going to find someone to marry someone to date, I want to know a little bit about you as a person. And all he did was brag about what he had and his accolades. And I just, it was the whole night and he never gave me a chance to talk about myself or anything about me or for him to find out about me. It was just, it was too much. And not only did he do that on the date, it was every time him and I talked on the phone, he would always remind me that he had just finished law school, that he had his PhD, that he had, I think he has like four degrees. I mean, the, I was proud of brother man. I was proud of him, but I just didn't want to hear that. I wanted to hear something else. You know, so that was one thing that was a total turnoff. And then the another, another thing that did not work for me. And this is different for each person. I did not want a man that had young children. He had two girls and I think both of his girls might have been in middle school or just getting into high school or something. I don't know. Don't quote me. But they were young. And I had kind of made up in my mind, if I dated a man, I'm dating on purpose. And we can all do whatever we want to do. If you want to date someone with a kid that ha that's five years old, that's seven years old, that's 10 years old in your 50s, more power to you. I'm not saying don't do that. But I'm talking about for me, I wanted to date a man that was very seasoned and had kids kind of my own kids age. My son is 35, 36, one of those and my daughter 29. So I want a man with a kids that age so that we're not really dealing with toddlers or we're not dealing with middle age. I mean, it's a lot, man. I didn't have I done been there, been there, done that. I, my kids have been in middle school, high school. I don't want to do that again. I really don't. But now that I have my grandbaby, I'm starting to see, oh my gosh, I remember when my kids were this age, but I can give him back to his mother. You know, he's not mine. I can love on him. I can, you know, take him shopping, spend all this money, do all this stuff for him, cook all this food, and then I can send him home to his mother. But if it's my child or if I marry a man, which I'm dating on purpose, if I meet a man and 
he got small kids. I have to take those kids in to be mine. And I don't pray when it comes to kids. So if he got kids and I'm going to have to be the, if you want to call it stepmom, if you want to call it second mom, whatever we're out here calling that, you know, some people, they have different terms for it. But I don't take children. I take children very serious. If I get in a relationship with you and I become your girlfriend, if I become your wife, I'm going to take my role very serious. When it comes to children, children are a gift from God. I don't play when it comes to kids. So if I'm dating a man and I marry a man that got kids, them kids are going to be mine. And now I got to be up at night like him, worrying about where these kids are, what they're doing. I didn't want to do that. And I know we still do that with our adult kids, but it's a limit when they're adults. Like with my daughter, if there's things going on in her life that tend to roll over into my life and have me stressed, I do have a balance to where I can say, well, gosh, she grown now. But when kids are little, you can't do that. They're your responsibility. So I don't care to date a man with young children. I really don't. I would prefer his kids to be adults like mine. So enough said on that. Let's see what we're talking about in the chat. True. Whew, now that's what I won't deal with is I don't. OK, we all have deal breakers. My number one deal breaker is I don't do cheating. If a man is in my life and he decides that he wants to cheat, he's now no more, more a part of my life. I'm not one of those people where, oh, you ought to give him another chance. Maybe you, mm -mm. no, because guys, you have a, a part in your life, whether you are 20 or you're 70, you have been single for a season in your life. And let's say you meet the woman, the man of your dreams, why would you go and cheat when you know how it was not to have nobody? And then God bless you with a man or a woman of your life, of your dreams. Basically, you're, you don't value the person that you have. And I'm the type of person, if you don't value me, I'm out. Hold on, guys. I was trying to see. I know there's a way because it comes to a point to where I do want to pin y'all's comments, but I don't know. You know, this social media thing, I'm, I'm still trying to get used to everything. I was trying to pin your comment. But anyway, OK, like I said, it comes to a point to where, you know, goodness, well, you've been without somebody for four months five months, five years. And then here you going to get me and you're going to cheat. You see some other woman or you, you know, a man, he sees some, uh, or a woman, she sees some other man and here you going to cheat. Why? That's stupid. That's to me. You don't have your character intact. You don't have you because I remember I'm telling y'all when I first got married and I met my ex-husband and we got married. I remember when we got married, so many men started flirting. It was like a flirt. It was like a men hadn't flirted with me in that like that at that level in all my life. It was like men was coming from all kinds of situations, circumstances. I'm like, dang, if I looked that good or if I was all that, why weren't they doing that before I married my husband? And I realized what in the world? This is a trap. So we got to know that sometimes I don't know what it is when you get married or you get serious with somebody that it seems like all these fine men come around when you get your man. Or if it's a man, all these fine women want you after you meet the person you with. That ain't nothing but a trap. That's nothing but a trap. But when it comes to relationship, guys, and this trust, you have to trust if you don't trust a person, you can't be with them because I don't have time to be up all night wondering what you're doing. <laughs> I don't think so. I'm not, when you go to work, I'm not going to be wondering, are you flirting with your coworkers? When you leave the house, I'm not going to be trying to worry about, are you with that woman? I don't have time for that. Absolutely no. And that 
goes into my long distance relationships is if you are going to be have a long distance relationship, there got to be trust. It has to be trust. And you know what? Whether a person lives down the street from you or if they live 400 miles away from you, trust is trust. Because if that joker, if you don't trust him, he can be your next door neighbor. And if he just, his character and you know is something about him that you really can't trust him, it don't matter if he were 400 miles away. We know when we can't trust somebody. We know when that, when mm, I don't trust him. Mm, something about him. I don't know about him. Every woman got that intuition. We know when we can't trust men. And men know when they have a woman that they can't trust because women, we, we cheat just as much as men do. And the thing about us women is we kind of better without cheating. Men are sloppy when it comes to cheating. Men don't know how to cheat. I was watching this lady's live, but I watched it after it was live. Um, I'm not sure what her last name is, but her first name is Peyton. She's here in Dallas. The girl got it going on. Very beautiful young lady, 40 years old. She's a YouTuber. She And she's not only a YouTuber. She has, like she said, four businesses. Very beautiful young lady. Well, her boyfriend was cheating. And so she got on social media to tell her subscribers, to tell her community because she was doing that live stream. That's how I knew that I wanted to get that live stream that she had because you can like uh, go live on several um, different platforms. And I said, I want that. And so anyway, she was on there and she was telling all of her. And I mean, this girl got like some million of subscribers, but she was telling all of them that this man done cheated. And he, you know, and I was like, oh my gosh. So we have to be careful with that as women, you know, and with all that cheating, it's, it, we, we need knowing. We already, we, we good at cheating. If we gonna cheat, if a woman is going to cheat on a man, we're not sloppy. A man would never know we cheated. He would never, ever know. When you know a woman is cheating, she's kind of done with you. If she gets sloppy with it, she done. Because 99% of the time, we can cheat very good. But when it comes to men, men don't know how to cheat. When I, when they cheat, they start changing up. That's how I knew that my ex-husband had cheated. When his routine wasn't the same, because now he, a lot of percent, oh, let me talk right. A lot of the percentage of the time, men do the same thing every single night, every single day. When they come home, they do this, they do that. You know, it's kind of like, or you know, they wearing the same thing or, but when they start changing up things is when we know mm, he might be cheating. And then that's when we start trying to do that investigative situation. <laughs> but, and I'm not making this saying that this is right for either one of us to be cheating because men shouldn't be cheating and women shouldn't be cheating either. And I don't even have time for the cheating. But, you know, I started talking about the cheating and the trust and all of that. But it is very, you know, we we know when they cheating, but they don't always know when we cheating. But the best thing is, if you really find somebody and you love them, why would you go out and cheat anyway? Yeah, that trust thing is something else. But like I said, you know if you can trust them. And you know when you can't trust the joker. Like I said, he can be 400 miles away and you know he a good man. He ain't finna cheat. Or it can be a man with a woman. If he got a good woman, he, she can be 500 miles away. He knows she ain't going to cheat. He trusts her. But there are times when your joker could be next door to you. And you know, goodness well, hmm, he ain't nothing but a slut. He ain't no good. He ain't about nothing. So we know when we got somebody that, that ain't right and they don't do nothing but a bunch of cheating. We know it. And when it comes to long distance I always say that, and I have a video talking about long distance relationships. Long distance relationships can work, but it takes a lot of work to make a regular relationship work, let alone a long distance. But it does take trust. If you can't trust them, it ain't going to work. Or if you think he's out there doing something, or if you think she's out there doing something, it's not going to work. But it, it, it takes a lot. It really, really does. And I get into talking about that 
it's on my next video. So I don't want to dab too much into it because it's in my next video about my uh, thoughts on that as far as myself. But I say for someone else, if that's what you're doing, because I don't want to be a negative Nancy and say, oh, no, that can't work because that's not true. It can work, but it's going to take a lot of work for it to work. It has to be a lot of communication. It has to be a lot of trust. It, it has to be a lot of planning. It has to be a lot of organizing. And when I say organizing and planning, because when you are long distance, it's not like he's down the street and you can say, oh, OK, let's meet up for brunch. No, he's 500 miles away. So y'all got to organize things. OK, what's your schedule? She found out what her, you know, so it takes a lot of organizing and it can definitely work. It can definitely work. Just like I said, older men and younger women or older women and younger men, that can work too. Anything can work, guys. Relationships can work if you make it work. It won't work unless you don't work it. The problem with relationships is we don't make nothing work. All of us is out there saying we want somebody, but ain't nobody willing to do nothing to get nobody. Nobody's willing to do what it takes to keep that person. Or people are on relationship, they're uh, going out and dating and they just be doing stuff. Because I was thinking about this guy that I ran into a second time and him and I started arguing over my pastor. He wanted to get on, a get on the phone with me and argue with me about my pastor. And I thought that was real stupid. And I'm thinking to myself, you came in contact with me again. You done blew up my phone. You done sent me a thousand messages. You've been calling me every single day. And, and you're telling me you want to take me on a second date and you're going to argue with me over something stupid. See, we don't, the, we got to be strategic. If you say that you want to go out with this lady, you want to date this lady, you know, and he was even talking about, oh, I think you're my wife. I was thinking to myself, dude, okay. But if we say we want somebody, guys, we really have to work hard for it. Relationships are hard. I'm talking about just having a relationship with your family, with, with your friends. It takes, it takes something. A lot of us say we want something, but ain't nobody willing to do nothing for it. People be saying, oh, I, I want a wife. I want a husband but they don't do nothing to get that relationship or to maintain that relationship because meeting somebody, getting somebody is real simple and real easy, but it takes something to keep that person. It really does. But let's see what these comments talking about. What y'all are you talking about? Right? <laughs> Natalie says she heard something about uh, Country Wayne saying women cheat better. Yes, we do. I'm telling you. I'm, t I'm telling you. We And why we cheat better is because we not sloppy with it. Men don't even think. I, re I, was a, I go back to this lady, um, Peyton, that I was watching. She said that her boyfriend had some somehow hooked his iPhone up to her car. And she was telling him, well, you sure you want to do that? You got messages on there. You don't want me to see, you know, she, she was talking in her video clip, her live. And she said, mm, it was just something about him. And I mean, we know, we know when them jokers and they so stupid because how you going to hook your iPhone stuff up to my car. You should have immediately, if you know you're cheating, you should have immediately took your stuff off. Men will leave their phone open. They will leave their phone anywhere. But us women, if we cheating, we're going to make sure that we, that a man will never know it. He will never know she cheating. He won't. But men are sloppy with it. But the thing of it is, is really none of us shouldn't be cheating if we say we want somebody. But I know I know there's people out here. And that's what I think when it comes to dating, we have to let the other person know what we're looking for. You know, and that's that's what I do when I meet somebody. I want to know what you're looking for. Are you looking for a girlfriend? Because some, some people just want a girlfriend or some women just want a, I want a boyfriend. 
They just want a guy friend. They don't, they don't want to be married. Don't all of us want to be married? And I know that. But if you say, because you know how men are, they boy, they something else. They, yeah, I'm looking for a wife. I kind of don't like that when I meet men. And that's the first thing that they tell me because that doesn't impress me. I am 53 years old. Telling me that you want a wife does not impress me. You know what impressed me is everything you say and you do, but you don't talk about it. That's why that guy turned me off. So, and he may come on my live because we got, I, I had mentioned I do some YouTube videos. So if he come on my videos and he watched them, you know, y'all would never know who he is. I would never give out his name or any of his information, but you know, I'm, I'm just telling it a little bit about, you know, my life, which this is my channel and I can do that. You know, I feel like if a guy don't want to, you know, that's why. OK, I'm going to just I'm going to just say this because I said I wasn't going to tell. That's why I got off of um, uh, dating apps is because of me being on social media now. I have been on every social media that there is from Facebook, Twitter, uh, Instagram, TikTok, talking about relationships, talking about stuff like this. So I felt a little uncomfortable being on apps now because I didn't want a man to have seen me on social media and say, oh, I know her. And, you know, I, I, I didn't want to do that. So I got off of those apps. And that's why I'm not on them now because, and really that's not the way to do it anyway. Because, oh yeah, you guys, Get your drinks. I have my, I told you guys earlier today that I have my German beer that I'm drinking. But that is why I got off of the apps is because I didn't want to run into men that would see me on that app and say, oh, I know that lady. She don't know about relationships or, or blah, blah, blah. I didn't want to do that. So I was like, get off the maps, Leslie. And my daughter, I always say, Mama, you need to do this. She was just telling me the other day, her and her girlfriend was, she was telling me what her and her girlfriend said. She said, Mama, you need to go to a nice little um, place and sit up at a bar and, you know, meet a guy this way. That's true. I have chosen now after COVID and we couldn't go out anymore. I did a lot of self-reflection. I did a lot of thinking about some of the stuff that I used to do, which wasn't working because if it was working, then I would be married now. I have realized that in person finding someone is a whole lot better than online because a lot of people online aren't who they really say that they are, believe it or not. A lot of people that have these social medias or have uh, different, they're on different apps and they put up all these pictures, that's not who they really are. And that's what I'm saying. When you go out with a guy, that's when I went out with him. I wanted him to tell me who he was, what he liked, what he do. I wanted to talk about, I didn't want to talk about his, his um, degrees, which like I said, I'm proud of a brother man. I'm proud of anyone that, because that takes something, but I want you to go beyond that. I want you to tell me who you are, what you like. What, what, you know, how we're, how are we going to do this thing together? How, what you looking for? Because all of that at the end of the day, that's just stuff to basically to feed you. When you go and get all them degrees and all that, that is so hot. That's so you can make a living. That's not who you are. Never let all of your degrees and all of the stuff you have become who you are as a person. Because you still have to have character. Because I've ran into a lot of people and I'm not, I'm, I'm going to be careful now of talking about certain things on my, because, you know, the more people see your videos, I, I don't want it to interfere with anything that I ever have to do um, work-wise, but I've seen a lot of professional people that didn't have it together. So just because you got that behind your name, you got to get your character together and you have to be... You have to know who you are so that when you meet somebody, you can tell them who you are as a person. The last thing, okay, let me say this. The last thing you should do when you are out dating, and this goes for females and males, because this was a guy talking to me. So 
To be honest, the last thing you should tell someone is I got four degrees. I went to law school. I'm a doctor. I'm a this. I'm a that. You have to be careful because some people only date you for those reasons. But let's say you go on a date with me and I get to know you as a person. And the last thing you tell me is, oh, yeah, by the way, I do this. I'm going to be like, well, hell. I like this joker. I like him. After I didn't realize that he got great character. And not only do he got character, I mean, bro, man, got a little money too. You know what I'm saying? But if all I know is this is what you got, but then I don't know who you are, what are we going to do with all that? We can't do nothing with that. Yeah. So be careful, ladies and men, about going on dates. Because, see, let's say if I was a hungry chick. If I was the type of woman to say, oh, shit, now he got you, what? He an attorney, baby. That's what I'm talking about. Hmm. Let me get brother man digits. Let me go ahead and be his wife. See, you got to be careful telling people all of that stuff. When you go on a date, you need to be talking about other stuff other than that. That should probably be the last thing that you do is what you do for a living. Tell me about you. So, yeah. So is this helping any of you guys? Are you liking it? Give me a thumbs up. Like the video if you are. Share the video. Share this live. Share it, guys. We are now at 51 minutes. I'm good. If y'all good, I'm good. Let's see. Exactly. Exactly, Natalie. We, we and and that's what I was saying earlier to today too was if we start being really sloppy, we done. We we don't even care because we good at our stuff. So if when we, when you start even wondering if we cheating, we pretty much don't even care anyway. We at the point to where if you find out, we don't even really care. But ladies and gentlemen, I'm gonna say, why even cheat? Just Leave people alone. If you don't want them, be honest with a person. If you, because like I said, don't everybody want to be married? Some people just want to chill and just have a little something, a little situation, a little whole bunch of other situations. That's fine. But be honest. Don't have all these situations and all this stuff, but lying to people, telling them, well, yeah, you know, you're my girlfriend. Or some woman saying, yeah, you know, you know, I ain't dating nobody but you. And, you know, goodness, well, you dating other men. All we got to do is be honest. In today's world, that was something that that Peyton girl said that I was like, hmm. I was in here doing a little work when I was watching her live, which it was had already passed. And she was talking about it. She said the guy had cheated on her. And I'm telling you, beautiful young lady. I don't know if y'all have ever seen her here on social media. She's um, she's probably on other social medias. I don't know. I only follow her. I don't even know if I follow her. I just watched her videos. And y'all know when you watch something, social media just starts sending you all that person videos. And when I was uh, listening to her live, she has said that, all the dude had to do was to talk to her. She might have been okay with it. And I was thinking to myself, hmm. But I thought about it. I said it's true. In today's world, some people don't want to be married. Because if you tell her, let's say that guy had just went on and said, you know what, baby? Yeah, I'm, I'm talking to Susie and, and two more other women and blah, blah, blah. That give her a chance now to say, okay, well, you know what? I met John last week and I think I want to go on a date with him. But the thing about men Men always like to cheat, but they don't want nobody touching a woman. See, that's the problem. This is why I think a lot of men don't be honest with us women. As y'all know, there are so many men that have been uncovered and we found out that was cheating on their wives, like that one guy that did all of the relationship stuff on social media. I think he still has over a million followers. When everybody found out that he was married and he was cheating, the thing about men, I think that men don't allow us to know or won't tell us because they know they got a bad chick. And they don't want another man touching a woman, but they don't mind going out and doing some stuff. 
you know, that's the problem when it could, that's why men, I think, won't tell us that, okay, you know, I'm dating, I'm, I've been messing around with Susie. I think I'm a date, you know, both of y'all. I think I kind of like just one day, both of y'all. Men won't tell us that because they're scared. They scared. Well, you know what? If I tell her that I'm doing something, I know goodness. Well, she, you know, she fine. She can get her man. So I know she's going to go out and get have about two or three of them. So men, I think, get afraid and because they know that we may go out and, you know, because she said that when she said that, I said, damn, wait, what? And then I thought about it. Well, she's a pretty lady. He tell her that and she can go get her man, another man. But when you tell people, oh, I'm only dating you, it's just me and you, then therefore we are under this assumption that we are exclusive. It's only me and you. When we know that ain't what it is, you know, I think a lot of times that's how the cheating starts is, is he do something, but he don't want to tell you, maybe you do want to play around a little bit on the side, but he don't want you to know because he know you can get somebody. That's, that's why my whole thing about talking to each other, regardless if you are long distance or if your man is in town, it's good to be honest. It's good to be upfront. It's good to talk about things, to talk about the hard stuff. And I mean, there are people that, you know, I, yeah, I don't ran into people that they want people to come into their relationship. Husband and wife want to bring somebody in there. I mean, to each his own. We all do our own thing. Over here, I don't condemn nobody. You do you. You know, if you want to have multiple relationships, if you a husband and wife and y'all want to bring another woman, or if it's a husband and a wife and they want to bring another man, y'all do y'all thing. But all I say is be honest with all parties. That's my thing when it comes to dating, when it comes to relationship, when it comes to all of this stuff is be honest. Because if I meet somebody, in which I have, if I, I have before, if I meet somebody that's talking about, will you come and, and hang out with me and, 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 and my wife? Hell to the no, dude. I don't think so. It ain't that kind of party over here. So it's to each his own. But I could be one of them kind of women that say, oh, yeah, I'm sure. I'll be over there in a minute. Hold on. <laughs> Hold on. You know, so it's, it's to each his own. And I don't condemn nobody. Do your thing. Do you. It's too much going on in this world for me to be worrying about what you do in your relationships. And in your dating and all, and all your stuff. And something that the guy has said on the phone, too is he had said um, something about he didn't want, you know, a woman to cheat. But then he made some kind of remark about how if a man is cheating, as long as he's taking care of his home. And that's what I'm saying. And that's what drew to the conclusion that men think that they can just do whatever they want to do but they don't want us to do it. <laughs> that I think that's the main thing is why men don't be honest with us ladies. I'm 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 telling y'all. I'm I'm telling you. Take it to the bank. Think about this. Men cheat and they don't tell us because they know goodness well we will do it too. And if we cheat, <laughs> yeah we going to be out or we, you know, they don't want us to cheat. It's something about them. I don't know how they think it's okay for them. You know, back in the day, I mean, hey, in the Bible days, men had several wives. But we don't never read where the wives had several husbands. But you always read where the man had, you know, several wives. He had concubines. But you don't read where... They say she had a lot of homeboys. Yeah, we don't read that. You don't read, you didn't read it then, and you don't read well, you can read it now, but it's always where the man is. But what I'm saying is it's it seems like it's okay for the man to have several, but it's not okay for us. You know. Y'all chime in, tell me what you're thinking. You know I can talk. <laughs> 
y'all know I can talk. Or tell me what you're thinking. Is this good? <laughs> I know I uh I used to love I'm not on social media right now but I said tomorrow if I have time I don't really know what all is on my plate for tomorrow but I do plan to go back and get I mean, I mean I can get the same ones I may have to start over again and get another uh Facebook Twitter excuse me sometimes you can go back in and you can get your account restored I don't know I've been off since January, so I don't know if I've reached that mark where I can't go back and get those social medias. But I do plan to get back on social media because that is what helped grow my channel. I told y'all, it's been going down. Sisters, brothers, y'all got to help me. Start back sharing my videos. Y'all be liking it because I'll be seeing the likes. But make sure you're sharing to your girlfriends. I'll be talking about everything now. Now, I, what I do is I call it car chats because y'all know I be doing vlogging. I get in my car and I, I start thinking about something and I say, Ooh, let's talk about this. So it's not formally on a video anymore because y'all know when a person work, when I got my grandbaby, I got all this stuff. It's hard for me to set up all this stuff for a whole production for a video because y'all honestly don't know. I'm telling you, I got mad respect for people that do this for like a living and do this for like full time work. Like I follow several people. I follow several ladies, several young ladies, older ladies that do this for a living. This ain't easy. I don't do it for a living. I just do it for a uh, part time uh, for part time because I like it. I like getting on this camera. I like talking to y'all. I really, really do. I think it just helps me get out of some of the stuff that's in me. I feel like I'm somewhat of like a motivator. I'm somewhat of like, um, you know, someone that likes to just help people if I can give you some advice. Cause that's why I started out this live talking to my younger women I like to try to give y'all some type of advice and some type of things. And, and then I got my big sisses on here. Um, Miss Evans, that's always, I mean, every video, she my girl. I was trying, actually, I was trying to pin some of y'all's comments, but I don't know. Y'all know YouTube be tripping sometime. It wouldn't allow me. Replace PM is one. Oh, okay. Yes. Okay. I see where I can replace. I can, sorry, I can um, pin some of y'all messages because that's what I was trying to do. Okay. Let's see. Okay. There you go. There you go. That's what I was trying to do is I was trying to pin some of y'all messages that I had seen. But yes. Miss Evans, oh my goodness, every video, she my number one girl. She just, and then I have a few more of you other ladies. Trust me, I see your comments. I see you talking to me. I see you um, commenting. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. I appreciate y'all. I really, really do. Because I'm trying to, I'm trying to grow the channel. I really am because like I told y'all, or is it in the next video? It's coming up in the next video where I talk about this channel was shooting off like nobody business. It was going to where I couldn't keep up with it. And now it's like, okay, if you're not talking about older women dating younger men, don't nobody want to hear it. <laughs> and it's like, I'm doing more than that. I'm talking about more than that. Yeah, and I'm always going to talk about relationships. <laughs> Guys, even after I get married, I'm still going to be me and my husband. And that's something the guy, because I, I shared with him that I did YouTube videos. And so uh, he had said, oh, I can get on there and do some videos with you. And I was thinking to myself, I don't think so, sir. No, because you're not going to get on my channel doing all that bragging. You're going to have to bring something to my channel. If when I start dating a man and getting serious with a man and we start doing videos together, he has to be able to bring something to the channel. And basically, and when I say bring something to the channel, he's going to be out, be 
have to be able to talk to the men because I have a lot of men viewers. He's going to have to be able to come on here and talk to the men and and, you know, be able to get the men's attention while I talk to the women and get the women attention. Uh, if that's not going to be happening, no, 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 no. I ain't going to have a man on my channel. But now I would like to have a man that could really bring some value to the channel. But I have to, li I listen to people when I talk to them. If you're not talking right, you're not coming on my channel to talk no mess. No, mm -mm. no. I'm very, very uh, picky about who I will ever bring on my channel and talk with me or to get on here and to talk about relationships or to talk about anything. I I'm going to be very, you know, choosy and picky on that. I'm not going to let anybody come on here and be talking because I'm very picky about what I say. I don't get on here and just say whatever I want to say or whatever I think, you know, somebody want me to say. I try to be honest. Like when I had said that I would talk about long distance relationships, I want to be honest and in my video, upcoming video that you guys will see where I'm really talking about my long distance relationship, I get honest and tell you, I'm not going to be on her line and saying, oh yeah, girl, I'm, let me tell you because this mine worked and I know it didn't. I'm not going to be doing no line or I'm not going to be making nothing up, but I will be positive. I will support you if that's what you're doing. I will support anyone that come to my channel and say, because like when people came into my channel and they would tell me that they were dating younger men, you know, if this woman is 50 and she's dating a man in her 30s, if she said, because I've ran into so many people like that. I have so many messages, so many DMs, so many emails of people telling me that it worked for them. More power. I am happy for you. I am proud. I'm glad these things happen for you. So I will always, you know, support in whatever you want to do, as long as you're doing things that are legal. That is when I was talking about that older women and older women and younger men, I just made it very clear in the beginning. And I had it in my channel. I don't have it anymore because I really don't talk about that subject anymore. But when I was talking about that subject, I made sure to let people know that came on my channel. This is grown and sexy. We are not talking about nobody dating nobody underage. We're not talking about nobody, you know, 20, 21 years old. We are talking about some of these people that say they were dating. This could be a woman in her 50s. Maybe she dating a man, you know, 30. So it, it, it was a little age difference. Or maybe she was 50 and he was 40. That's still younger than her. But I wanted to make it clear because I got a lot of scrutiny over that, too. I got a lot of comments that I don't know if some of y'all ever seen, but, you know, I would get people saying, why are you doing that? Why are you trying to get, uh, I mean, I used to get some nasty comments, too. But that's not the reason I stopped. I stopped because I feel like I had spin that situation as good as I could. I talked about it as much as I could. I, I put video after video. I'm telling y'all, I did video after video because some videos was hidden. Now, that's when I was getting some money in my account. Now, my, my account is at zero for YouTube because I'm not talking about that subject no more. But I thought, am I more than that subject? Are y'all coming to look talk to me? Do y'all like my personality? Y'all like me or you like me talking about that subject? So, yeah. But, um, yeah, so I support you as long as, you know, we all doing legal stuff. I support you. I support every relationship. I'm there for you. I'll be your big sis that is talking positive to you. That supports you. I really do. But I had talked about, what do you call those? They're not lives. They're the really short form, short, uh, form videos. I had to also talked about sometimes, you know, family members and people don't like when we are in like relationships like that. It's really crazy how that be really bringing some arguments because I watch a young lady. She's a Christian young lady and I've been following her. And the reason why I started following her is because I used to be natural. I, my hair used to be curly. And I started watching her for her videos of natural hair. 
and now she do kind of like lifestyle videos and she's a young lady but she she's i think 31 and i think she's like i don't don't quote me but i think she's like five years younger older than her um husband and she met her husband when they were younger, because I think maybe they grew up around each other, either in the same church, around the same, you know, friend circle. And so she said that she had um, made a TikTok about how she met her husband. And she said that, you know, she went through it really short because, you know, when you're doing the short form TikTok videos, you got to talk real fast. You got to let everybody know what you what, what the subject is and blah, blah, blah. Well, she said she got so much scrutiny because she had told people kind of around the time frame that she met her husband. And she said people told her she was a child molester. She was this. And she said the thing of it is, and I think they're like a five year difference. She's only, she's 31. So whatever 31 is, I think whenever she met him, they were young. But she said the problem that they she said they ran with that, but they didn't understand that him and I didn't start dating then. We just married. So. You know, it's, it's how people take things. And that's what I was getting. I was getting a lot of misunderstandings when I was doing those videos. And I felt, but I don't care how many misunderstandings I was getting. I was getting paid because them videos were going viral. I was getting misunderstood, but I was also getting paid at the same time. But the only thing about it is I felt like I had spent it as many ways that I could. Every way I was talking about the subject. I even started... YouTube was starting to recommend other people talking about the subject too. So we were, they realized that when I talked about it, the subject went viral and other people started making videos to spin it. So yeah, it, I, I talked as much as I could on that subject. I enjoyed, you know, talking about the subject, but now do I get a lot of older men? I mean, younger men trying to talk to me. I honestly don't. I, I haven't got an older man trying to talk to me um, lately. Most of the men that I've ran and well, you know, no, no, I take that back because I went in the restaurant and I showed you guys where I went to that Italian restaurant and that guy was 30 years old, he told me, but this man did not look 30. Evidently, he had a whole life because he did not look 30. He looked at least 45. He did not. I'm telling y'all, he... Cause you know, when somebody is young, they still got that youthful young look. He, he, he had that mature look that like he had lived and lived his life. He did not look 30 years old, but yeah. So he was one that tried to talk to me. And after uh, we talked, you know, he realized what age I was and he kind of, you know, went on about his business because for a minute he was at my table like every five minutes. I'm like, geez, can I eat my food? Can I enjoy my wine? Can I, can I eat on my bread? I mean, he, you know, he was at my table like nothing. So I, I guess you can say, you know, they still flirt, but it's all good. We all in this for love. Ain't nobody in this. Um, there's no one in this you know, for any harm. We all, we, we all looking for love. We're all looking for love. Ain't nobody in this not looking for love. The thing of it is, is like I said, we just got to be honest with each other and we got to get to know each other. We really do. We got to get to know each other. It's like, do you want somebody or do you just want to play around? Just tell me what you're doing. That's all I'm saying. I think that's where I am in my life today. I honestly do want um, a spouse, but I just, I want somebody to be honest with me and let me know what they have going and all that. So, yeah. So, guys, I think I have talked. If there is something before we close tonight if there is something that you want me to talk about, something you may want me to say, uh, I mean, something you want me to talk about, please, why is that doing that? Please um, let me know. That way um, we can talk about it before I get off of here. It is now, I've been on an hour and I think I just wanted to get back on here. I missed y'all. 
I really, really did. I know that what will happen is more people will eventually see this live um, later on, sometimes, you know, because of obligations, sometimes because of the time frame. And that was another thing I tried to be very, um, I tried to, there were, I tried to vote. I did something in the community and I asked you guys what would be a good time for me to come on. Some people, excuse me, it looks like there were more for three o'clock. So that's why I picked the three o'clock hour. But I know those that missed it, that didn't get to come on, will be able to come and see it later. So what I will do, I will definitely keep this up on my uh, channel. I will not, um, you know, take it off. I I want whoever was not able to get on to be able to get on uh, a little bit later. But I really do appreciate you guys for spending an hour with me. I appreciate it. I appreciate it. So I am going to go ahead and get off. Um, today, we talked about relationships. We talked about long distance relationships, um, that they can work, that we just got to do everything we can. Got to be great communication. I reminded you guys as well that if you are in a long distance relationship, I do have another video on that. And like I said, it can definitely work. It can, anything will work if you work it. I mean, that's a little quote of my pastor. It'll work if you work it. Anything can work. A younger, older relationship, whatever you got going on, it will work. But it takes two people, two committed people. It can't be one person wanting the relationship to work while the other person's just mediocre, like, mm, yeah, whatever. You know, it has to be two people wanting it to work. Communication, a lot of good planning. You know, it, it can definitely work. And as far as us people out here that just single and talking about we can't find nobody and everybody, everybody saying they can't find nobody. It's a lie. We're all out here. We just got to try harder. We got to really want a relationship and stop playing with each other and stop coming to relationships with all your accolades and all your stuff and come into a relationship telling me about you and not telling me about, you know, all the stuff that you got. All that is great. And we're going to end up needing all that that you got. But that's not you. You know, you're separate from what you do. You know, when you meet people and they tell you, I do this and I do that, and they don't tell you anything about them. So, to me, if I don't get to know you, that may make me think that you're hiding something, you know, or are you hiding anything? Do you got anything to hide? You know, but and, all, and another thing now, I done told y'all this, that I have been on dates where men come and tell you their whole life in, in, in an hour. I don't want to know that either. I do not want a man to come and tell me his entire life in 30 minutes. No, that's not what I want. I like to go on dates and I like for both. I like for it to be a conversation. I do not like to go on dates with a list. I don't like to go on dates with like asking a man, well, this and asking him that, like you want to interview. I don't like doing that. I like for the, I like for the date to just go natural. I like for us, I like for it to flow. I like to be sitting there. You know, I have always on when I went on dates, I used to love to go on my dates and go to like a dinner, a really nice, uh, and I'm not talking about expensive. I'm just talking about, you know, somewhere clean and nice for you guys to go on your date. But somewhere where you both can sit and you can talk, you know, you can have a glass of wine, he can have a glass of wine, and y'all get to know each other. You know, you get to see, do I want to go out with him again? Would I like to date him? Would he like to date me? He's thinking, you know, would he like to date her? You know, that's what I like. I like that those intimate settings. I don't like for my first dates to be somewhere playing games. You know, like some men will say, well, would you like to go and bowl or would I don't like my first dates. I like for my first dates. And it's just me. We all do different stuff. I'm not telling you to do what I do. I'm just telling you about me. When I go on dates, I like to go on like dinner dates because I get to sit across from you. I get to see his mannerism. I get to see how he carry himself. I get to see how he talks. I get to, you know, just have a good conversation with him. So that's what I like to do when I go on dates is I like to kind of, you know, be able to check him out and listen. And what I do is I try to do 
more listening than I do talking. But I do like for the conversation to flow. But I like to do a lot of listening because ladies, 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 men will tell you anything you want to know in an hour's time if you just listen. Men will tell you, I have had men tell me their entire life in an hour. And after, I'd be like, oh, Jesus, I just can't. I can't get up from the table. I'm so tired. <laughs> I'm serious. Y'all think I'm playing. I am like, I'd be like, Lord. And I have, the reason men, at the end of it, they'll say, oh, you don't want to date me no more, do you? And they'll say, oh, you don't want to date me, huh, if I told you all that. And I'd be thinking to myself, why? This goes for men and women. Don't tell nobody your entire life history unless it's God. The only person that can handle your life is Father God. I cannot handle, I ain't Jesus. Why you give me all that? That's heavy. I don't, that's too much for me. I got a headache. I got to go and, I gotta go and get, take a break. I got to go and rest after I done heard you. And I have been on many, many, many of dates with men that told me their entire life history. And they say, I, this is what men say. I just want to tell you what you're dealing with. I want you to know what you're dealing with. You need to know what you're dealing with. Dude, I could tell you my whole life. Make you run. I done been through some stuff, going through some stuff. I could tell you why. But why would I do that? Why do we even do that on a date, y'all? A date is supposed to be something fun. It's supposed to be something free, something light, something enjoyable. And I know probably my young people get on here and they hear this. They probably be like, child, we don't be doing that. Maybe y'all don't do that. But the older men that I've gone on dates with, I'd be like, Jesus Christ, brother, give that to the father. Don't give that to me because I can't handle that. Yeah, we don't want to be giving somebody too much too soon. I'm not okay. Now, what I don't want you to misunderstand is I'm not saying don't tell somebody what's going on in your life. I'm not saying that. And you know why I'm not saying that is because that can be misunderstood for where, oh, I'm a lie and I ain't gonna let her know what I'm child. I don't, uh, you know, it may, you may, maybe some man, he's a child, I'd have been to prison, I'd kill somebody. I done, no, I'm not saying don't lie, but. Easy to me, baby. Take it easy. Don't give me everything at one time. Because if you could be a good man, you could be a man that have done a lot. And I went on a date with a Hispanic man. Uh, I went on a date with this Hispanic guy. Probably, I don't know, y'all, maybe five months ago. I don't know. But anyway, I went on this date with this Hispanic guy. Tats, all of him. Where I meet him from? I don't know. But anyway, I went on this date. We went to this Mexican restaurant and ate. Food was good. You know, this dude told me, we sit down and he like told me his whole life history. He told me everything he had gone through. In about we sit there though, him and I sit there on that date. Mm, probably maybe two, three hours. Maybe not three hours, probably two, two and a half. We sit there at the restaurant on this date, and he went over his whole life history. And then not only did he go over his, I'm talking about from childhood to his age now at 50 something. And not only did he do that, he went over things about his kids. I mean, some heavy stuff, y'all. And I'm sure that he don't watch me. So I'm going to give y'all a little peek into what he told me on this date. Because y'all don't know him anyway, so it don't even matter. But him and I was on this date. And his daughter had gotten ran over. So I can't say got murdered because she wasn't murdered. Someone ran over her in a, um, I believe school zone. 
she was on her way going to work or I don't know the whole situation because I don't remember exactly but he told me about that and he got so deep and heavy and I could feel the grief on him. I could, I end up ministering to this man. Not the day ended with me telling him, you know, I'm so sorry that happened to you, you know, praying for him, finding out that him and I went to the same church. But what I'm saying guys, and the reason why I brought up his, his situation is because when you go on a date, that's heavy to put on me. But you know what? I, I ended up, because me uh, him and I didn't talk after that. And I believe, to me, when that date was over, after I, I think I prayed for him. Don't give me the line, because praying, talking about somebody, you pray for somebody, you're lying, could be a lie. I think I prayed, I said a prayer or something for him. Whatever, if even if I didn't say it to him, I prayed for him because his situation was heavy after we, you know, went our separate ways. I don't know if I prayed for him in that very moment. I think I did, but it was heavy. I felt so sorry for him because, you know, I and he he was angry in the situation because he seen the situation as someone had murdered her. That's how he was talking about the situation. But in my mind, after we split, and I'm sorry for his loss, but I feel like it was, she, I don't think that the driver meant to do it, but he was hurting. So that's how he looked at it as a murder. He didn't see it as you know, oh, he accidentally ran over my daughter. I don't think anyone would run over anybody, you know, intentionally. Oh, I would hope not. Let's say that. I would hope not. So, but the conversation was sounding like it was somebody meant to do it. And the reason why I'm talking about this situation, and if he followed me, you know, I still feel, you know, I still hurt for his situation. Um, it was just heavy. For a first date. And that's what I'm saying, guys. When we go on these first dates with people, and I felt like after that situation was over, I said, maybe that wasn't even a day, God. I said, maybe you brought that man in my life for me to pray for him. I don't even know. You know? But if you are seriously wanting to date somebody, want to get in a relationship with somebody, y'all, we got to be, I think us women, or I don't think us women would do. I don't know. I ain't never went on no date with no woman, so I can't say, but I ain't never went on no date and told no man in my life history. Neither have I gone on a date and told a man anything real deep about me. I go on dates. I tell you enough to want to go on a second date with me. And because we all now, I'm not saying that, oh, us women don't got no problems. We never went through nothing. We don't got no deaths in our life. That's a lot. We do. We got things, but we wouldn't take that on a first date. I think men don't, and, and I'm, glad, I'm glad to be talking about this because I know a lot of men follow me. Guys, y'all got to be careful what y'all be bringing on these dates. Because, you know, I was thinking, I wouldn't mind, you know, dating a little uh, Hispanic man, you know, let, let's just see her where it go. I don't have no problem. I don't see no race, baby. Hmm. The Italian man was over there trying to flirt. I didn't see no problem with him neither. So uh, my thing of it is, is just don't bring it heavy on me. Just please take it easy. Take it easy. You know? Have y'all had something ever happen to y'all? Or, or do they just be happening to me? Like I said, <laughs> I just, it's like, don't, don't be take, don't be real heavy on me, bro. Don't, don't do me like that. Don't, please don't. Yeah, so that was heavy, and I think he told me, like, and you know what? The weird thing about this is every man that has done me like that on a date end up telling me, you don't want to talk to me no more, do you? See, men know that they be going, they be telling too much, and they be getting it too heavy. They, they know they be doing that. Yeah, y'all know y'all be doing that stuff, so I don't know why y'all be doing it. But like I said, I've had men to, to be real deep with me. And then they tell me, they say, well, I just want you to know what you're dealing with. Because once you know what you're dealing with, 
dude, that's like me telling you a bunch of crap about me and talking about, I just want you to know what you, you wouldn't want her that. You'd be like, mm, she got problems. Mm -mm. Y'all know how y'all men is. Y'all want us to take y'all problems. But if we come to y'all with a bunch of stuff, y'all not going to want to date us. Well, you know what? The feeling is mutual. If you bring a lot of drama to me, I don't want it either. Or it don't have to be drama. Like this man, that was not drama. That was hurt that he was dealing with. But not on a date. So, you know what? It could be that maybe we need to get healed before we start dating. And that's why, that's why I started talking about being healed emotionally, spiritually, all of those things, being healed before you go on dates. <sighs> Because that's not fair to do that to me. Because y'all don't know the heaviness I felt. I, 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 at, at, at a point, I didn't know what to say. Because when, when someone have lost someone, it's not a lot of something you can say. You can really just be there. Just I don't really know what to say. But that was heavy for a first date. So to be honest with you, for me, if the shoe was on the other foot, and I was hurting like that, I don't think I would have went on a date because I'm not emotionally available to date. If I just lost my, my son or my daughter and I'm hurting, whether I feel like somebody murdered them or I feel like it was an accident or whatever the situation is, a loss is, excuse me, loss is loss. I don't think I would have went on a date because I'm not ready emotionally. Because when you get in relationships, you got to be emotionally available for the other person. If I got so much grief on me, I can't be there for you. Now, if we've been dating for a while and something like this happened, I'm supposed to be there for you. If I say I'm your girl, if I say I'm your wife, but if I don't know you, I know I just met you yesterday. All I can feel is I'm sorry. That's all I can say. But that's as heavy to put on another person. So I want y'all men to think about that too, because y'all wouldn't do that for us. If it when it comes to um men, a lot of times when when we have a lot of issues or we got this going on, y'all don't be there for us like that. Y'all tell us get yourself together, sis. When you get yourself together, call me. Mm -hmm. But y'all think, oh. You know, yeah, brother man got all this going on, so it's all a, so it's all to be there for him. But y'all, y'all don't be there for us. And I'm not saying throw people in the trash and don't be there for people. That's not what I'm saying. Because like I said, I don't know if I prayed for him at that restaurant. I think I did. If I didn't, I know I prayed for him when I got home. But we never did talk after that. Because he said, oh, I'm... He said something about he was sorry and I, he knew I didn't want to talk to him no more. I've heard that so many times on dates. Me and saying, oh, you ain't going to talk to me no more, is you? And I'll be thinking to myself, what you think? You answered your own question. Yeah. So, guys, yeah. But we, gonna, we still going to be out here dating. So, but I decided that I'm not going to be online. I'm going to do some in-person dating, you know, run into me some guys because I'm a hopeless romantic. I'm not going to give up, you know, and I know we're all not. We all out here. People don't just click on something talking about relationships and all that for nothing. We all looking for love. We are. I get people saying, you need to start a date now. I don't know about that. Because too dating apps bring people to be lying behind these apps. Maybe I need to do a meet and greet where we all meet in person, you know, in, in different cities. But as far as a dating app, I don't have no desire to do that. I don't have no desire to do no dating app at all. Because Johnny can be a whole different person or Susie can be a whole different person behind that app. But if you have meet and greets in certain cities, let's say, I mean, it's just like a lot of social media people do. They do like meet and greets. But let's say you have like meet and greets where, you know, y'all go hang out at a spot. You know, the only thing about that is safety with all that. So that's something I would have to really 
you know, think up. But that's what I would want to do, something in person. I wouldn't, I don't want to do date nap. I have no, because I was on a date nap for a little minute and, and it didn't, it didn't, I didn't end up nowhere on that date nap. Date naps or it's not what, it, there are people. I will t always tell y'all, I had a coworker that got on, is it eHarmony? I think it is. I think it was eHarmony. She got on eHarmony for, she said she was giving it three to six months or something. She did a three to six month deal. Well, she got on there and she met her man and they got off that app and they got married. So there are, what I would say that if you are a female, if you are a man and you say that date naps is what we doing today, this is just 2024, date naps is the thing, ma'am. Okay, fine with that. But get on those dating apps that are paid. Do not go on Zook, Plenty of Fish, any of them ones that are free. Because those people just get on there and they talk to several people and they just, the same people that is, if I was to get on POF today, it would be the same people when I was like on there four years ago. Those same people, it's like they just, it's free. So they just sit there and they're really not serious. And they be, they be emailing you, sending somebody else something. It is a bunch of playing games. So make sure if you are on those apps, get on the ones that is paid. Because if people pay their money, they serious. Free stuff? Mm -mm. And I've been on the free ones. And I'm going to tell y'all why. Because I feel like I ain't paying for no date. That's why I used to always say, but I should have. Because I probably would have had better dates. Yeah. So that's what I'm going to say about the date naps. But I think that we should do it in person. I think that this meeting, we there's something maybe I'm going to start talking about is how to, how what we gonna, how we going to start dating in person again? How are we going to start when a man see a woman talking? You know, that's what we got to do. We got to start talking in person. Not all this on apps behind cameras and, and all that stuff. We got to do some in-person stuff. So you know you ain't getting a serial killer. You go out there and you meet this person or a man and he ain't getting a crazy woman because us women can be crazy too now. We can be stalkers. Mm -hmm. So, yeah, but I think we should meet in person. So if you are having problems, you're struggling with meeting somebody, go somewhere in public. And I see that. I can't see your name because I done took my glasses off. But I see you're saying you need a friend. If you need a friend, you're going to have to go out in public and get a friend. I think that's what has happened to us as humans. We've all got on our cell phones. We all on our computers. But ain't nobody out in person. And when you see that beautiful young lady or woman, when you see that nice young man, make eye contact. We The thing of it is, is no, we, we so busy on our cell phone. Sir, five women done passed you, but you don't even know because you're on your cell phone. I think we need to be more, you know, available emotionally, you know, just, I don't know. Y'all chime in and tell me. If you like this video, make sure that you give it a thumbs up. Thumbs up the video. Please comment at any moment, any time. I want you guys to please make sure that you like the video. Please make sure that you share the video. And please make sure that you subscribe to my channel. If you are new on here, welcome. I should have done that. I did not do that. I apologize. My name is Leslie. I do vlogs with a little twist, with a little car chat in there. I'll get in, do my vlogs, and I'll do a little talking. But my name is Leslie. Welcome to the channel. Um, I pretty much talk relationships. I talk about us women issues. Um, I, I cook. I love to cook. I cook today. I need a video, but I ain't going to tell y'all what I cook. See, I find out what I'm doing today is I'm talking about a lot of my videos that I'm fixing to put out, and I ain't trying to give you the whole spiel. But I cooked today. The food was chef kiss. So I got a video probably two, three weeks from now. You'll see this meal that I cooked today. I cook a lot of times when my baby, my grandbaby come over. 
I tell him I always cooking spaghetti for him. He's a spaghetti lover. I used to cook spaghetti. My daughter say, I don't remember it, but she said I used to cook a lot of spaghetti when she was little, but hey, here are her baby is. He loves spaghetti, <laughs> but I cook a lot of spaghetti for him. I do cook a lot of other things. I love to cook. Cooking is probably a love language of mine because I love to cook. I get in the kitchen, which I didn't get to do today because I knew I had to do this live. So I hurry up and cook this meal and ate it. But normally when I cook, I take my time. I normally give me a glass of wine, but excuse me. I had this German beer that I got at um, Total Wines. So I said, we need to drink that. So I said, let's go ahead and drink this German beer. Normally I would have a glass of wine on a Sunday and cook my food. While I'm cooking my food, uh, we fill up our glass of wine and we just sip on the wine while we cook. So I like to do that on my Sundays. I really do. I love to cook. One thing about my husband, he don't got to worry. He going to get fed and he will get fed some good healthy foods because I know how to cook healthy and I know how to cook not healthy too. Like today, what I cook was not healthy. I woke up this morning and I was hungry and I wanted something good. I wasn't really necessarily thinking about healthy. I ain't going to even lie. I was thinking about, I'm hungry. <laughs> I want something good to eat. And, and I cook. But you'll see that on my next video coming up. But yeah. So guys, let me know if I answered everyone's questions. If you have something you want to say, I am going to close out this vlog. I said that twice, but I, I'm not vlog. I'm going to close out this video, this live stream. I've said it once, but I'm going to say it again. I want you guys now that I am four years on YouTube. I'm not going nowhere. I'm here to stay. I don't know if y'all want to have me. If you want to have me, let me know. Give me a thumbs up. Like this video. Tell your girlfriends. Tell your guy friends. If you want me to stay, if you want me to hang around, just let me know. I'm here to stay. I feel like I'm here to stay. I've been here four years. But in saying that, I had um, told you guys that I wanted you guys to start supporting me. If you would like, now there is no pressure. If you would like to buy me a coffee, if you would like to buy me a smoothie, if you would like to buy me, I like to get my avocado toast sometimes, you are more than welcome to cash at me. There is no pressure. Now, don't, don't take me wrong. That woman on there asking people to give up. No, 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 no. You don't have to do nothing if you don't want to. But if you would like to, because I have had many, many a people years ago ask me over and over and over and I would not accept it. But I feel like now that I've been on. Um, sorry, I feel like now that I have been on. um YouTube for this long. Y'all know I ain't going nowhere. And you want you ought to want to support people that are there for you. These videos ain't easy. I'm telling you. Getting in here, like I I think, well, I'm, like I said, let me stop because I'm always digging into my next my next video that's coming up. But I spend a lot of time. One day it took me three hours to edit that vlog. So it's some work doing this stuff. This stuff ain't easy. But y'all ain't got to pay me for it. Ain't nobody asking you to pay me. I'm just saying if you want to be nice to me, if you want to buy me a coffee, if you want to buy me a, um, a smoothie, any of that, I have my cash app on any of my videos in the description. If you don't want to, it's still all good. I still love you. I still appreciate your support. Your, your liking these videos is support. I appreciate you. Four years in, your girl, four years. I was looking at one of my videos that I had um, gotten rid of. Four years. Four years. Your girl been here on um, YouTube. And I don't plan on going nowhere. I'm going to be here. Right now, we doing some vlogging and I'm enjoying it. Because like I said, I don't have to get... Right now, I got lights all over here so we can... We because it's it's rainy, it's dark outside. It looks like in here, like it's real light and it's sunny outside. No, ma'am, it's not. These these lights, cameras in action. 
And when I do vlogs, I don't have to do all that lights, camera, and action. When I do vlogs, I'm just in my car going. It's so much easier for me. So I appreciate it. And if y'all like me and you here for me, then you like it too. But if you're not here for me and you only want to hear one video, I'm sorry. All righty, guys, I'm going to let y'all go. I appreciate y'all. I love you. Thank you for staying here with me a hour and 45 minutes. I appreciate you. All righty, guys, we are ending this live stream until next time. I can't tell you the next time because... Next Sunday is Easter. I will not be doing a video on Easter because I know everyone is going to church. They're hanging with their families. They're doing Easter egg hunts. They have a lot of stuff they have going on. So I know that no one will be here on next um, Sunday, but I know that we will do some more Sunday lives because I enjoy this. I enjoy talking to y'all. I really do. Y'all my people. You really are. I appreciate you. I love you. I love you. I love you. Until we do another live stream or another, we got a video coming up. If you don't know, my vlogs are up every single Saturday at 12 o'clock midnight. Saturday, 12 o'clock midnight, you see the videos. Or is it Friday? And they're, no, no, no. I take that back. Scratch that. They come up Saturday morning. You know what? It's y'all be in different time zones. But for Central Standard Times, they are up Saturday morning. So every Saturday morning is a new video. That's what we've been doing. And I've been doing that for a minute. And I like that. That's working really good for me. So make sure that you watch all the videos. Make sure that you go and like every single one of my videos. Make sure you like it. Make sure you share it on every last one of your social medias. If you are my gang, if you love me, we need to, ooh, excuse me, I'm sorry, the child is this beer. If you love me and you want to help me grow this channel, make sure that you put me on your Instagram, your Facebook, your TikTok, your whatever you got so other people can come and subscribe. All righty, guys, I love you until we talk again. Take care. You have a wonderful Sunday.